नमस्कार माय नेम इज सुदशील घोष वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम टीचिंग टिंकर कैड ऑन यूट्यूब सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू जनरेट पैटर्न्स यूजिंग द आरडीनो बोर्ड एंड एलईडीज सो लेट अस बिगिन विद आवर एक्सरसाइज सो वी विल गो हियर एंड वी विल क्रिएट आवर सर्किट as the circuit loads here we can see that on the left side there is this working area and on the right side there will be these uh, components so what we uh, how do we do this exercise we'll just bring in the arduino board here we'll pick, we'll take two leds one and two okay and we'll take one resistor the second one there you are and <coughs> now our job is to write a program or write a code which will enable us to generate patterns with leds so how do i go forward for it first of all as in practice we have to first of all establish the connection so we'll let us zoom in into the system and in order to establish the connection we bring our register here we bring our leds here and the second led is also here so we'll bring it here okay if we want one of the leds can be changed to a green color let us do that so we will generate a green color for that so we have one red led and one green led our first job is to connect the red led to the cathode and the anode the of the red led we are going to connect one to the resistor and the another to pin number 13 we'll take pin number 13 so that we can generate okay so first of all we have the cathode here and we'll connect to the resistor we have done that okay and our pin number 13 is connected to the anode of the red led so once this connection is established now our job is to see whether we can animate or blink the red led we will first of all blink the red led so let us do that we will go into the code we will throw everything into the dustbin as we can do that here <coughs> we we'll throw into the dustbin now this is pin number 13 so want to glow and we want to make it blink so we'll face the fall here okay now this is pin number 13 so we'll select pin number 13 here and because we want to blink it so we'll have to make it wait for some time so let us make it wait for half a second okay so we'll put it 0.5 here now we want now what we can do is duplicate this and because it will look the same so we'll duplicate this now this is 13 high and this is also 13 high because we want to make it blink this has to be set to low if we can do that now if i run the simulation let us see what happens when i run the simulation this particular red led is glowing now in my pattern i decide first of all let us for the sake of example i decide that when the red led is glowing the green led should be switched off and when the red led is not glowing the green led should glow this is what my idea is to do the simulation now so i will have to first of all connect the green led to the arduino board now right now there is no connection we can see that the green led is not connected to the arduino board at all there is no wire so we will have to take one wire from here and we'll connect it to the cathode of here so therefore the cathode of this particular led is connected to the resistor and to the ground okay so for the sake of convenience i will mark all those things which are connected to the ground via the resistor as a different color so let us do that i will put it as black here and this also i will put as black here okay 
and whatever is connected to the pins we will make it make them red in color so that there is no confusion okay so now i want to connect pin number 12 by i wire to the green led okay so now we have connected this to the anode of the green led so please see that the red led is connected via the resistor to the ground here and the red led is here connected to the pin number 13 the red led uh, the green led here now is connected to the ground via this resistor and the anode of the green led is connected via this wire to the pin number 12 so these leds are now connected what we are going to do now is to modify the code so that the red and the green leds they blink alternatively i have to remember that the green led is connected to the pin number 12 so we'll modify the code now so we'll go here okay now see when the pin number 13 is high that means the red led is glowing i want the green led to switch off the green led to not glow the green led is connected to pin number 12 so what i'll do is i'll insert this particular element here we'll select 12 here we'll select 12 here and we'll set it to loop okay so what it means that while the red led is glowing which is red led is connected to pin number 13 the pin number 12 is set to low which means the green led is going to not glow now here the red led is switched off what i am now going to do is to insert a code where the red led the green red led will be off and the green led is going to glow so green led is in pin number 12 we will set it to high so let us see now what happens we will start the simulation and see what happens okay so now they are glowing alternately and we are able to finally create a circuit wherein the green led and the red led are alternatively glowing now in practice when we this is okay and in, in theory but in practice people would prefer to use a breadboard now since we have to use a breadboard this particular connection in practice is not recommended because it will involve the twisting of the wires so this particular arrangement has to be made through the breadboard so what we'll do is we will remove all of the components from here we will remove everything from here and then reconstruct the circuit from the beginning so we'll remove all the wires all the everything everything from here remove everything from here the even the arduino board everything from here and we will first of all bring in the breadboard now okay now why did we do that we could have put the arduino earlier and the breadboard later but there will be a problem with the layering uh, as we can see in the ticker can we'll try to show you this particular uh, event we'll try to demonstrate why we bring the breadboard in first so let us try to bring the arduino first we'll have the arduino first and then we bring the breadboard what happens is the breadboard is now going to sit over the arduino and it will create visual problems so as a result we will prefer that we will have the breadboard first and then the Arduino okay right so we will have the breadboard first and then the Arduino okay so we place the Arduino like this uh, very carefully we will place the Arduino in like this situation all right now what have we to do now we'll have to bring in the register okay so we'll take the register from here we will need two LEDs of course and then with one LED and we'll have another LED here we will make this LED color as green as we can see okay and now we have to establish a connection similar connection that the ground is connected to the register and the other things are connected okay so let us do that so this is the register here and what we'll do is we will connect the ground to this particular line this particular column okay so we will adjust such that 
the ground is connected to this particular column and this particular column is connected to the register to this particular point all right now let us now bring in the leds as you can see we have got this led here and we have got the another led which is here we agree that the grounds of these leds will need to be now connected okay the cathodes of these leds will now need to be connected to the ground via the resistor and so therefore how can we do that so there are two ways either we do not connect the resistor like this okay we will remove this here from here and we will directly put the resistor somewhere here so that we have enough space okay so now we have connected the ground to the resistor and we have put it here and from this particular column we establish a connection to this particular way. all right and then again from this particular column we establish a connection to this particular column so therefore what has happened now the cathode of this particular green led is going through this wire and being going through this particular resistance and connected to the ground the cathode of this particular led is going through this wire and being connected to this particular ground so now how do i connect the pins to the respective pin number 13 and pin number 12 so now you see the anode has to be connected with pin number 13 so what we can do is we'll take the connection from here and we'll take it here and we'll go to pin number 13 again we'll take the connection from here and we'll take it from here and connect to pin number 12 so from here we can see that the anode of the green LED is going through this wire and being connected to D12 or that is pin number 13 digital pin number 13 and again the anode is going through this wire and is being connected to pin number 13 we have done that and for the sake of convenience of colors we'll rem we'll mark all the wires which are connected to the ground as black so that you know we are not confused in a way so again we will mark this as black okay now once we have established this particular connection we are now ready to modify the code so what we'll have to do is we'll go to the code here and we'll put everything to the dustbin okay just for the sake of convenience we'll set we'll have two of these remember one of them the red led is pin number 13 and the green led is pin number 12 one is set to high the other is set to low and then we will wait for say for example 0.5 seconds okay so we will put 0.5 seconds here and then we are going to duplicate this if we duplicate this the entire set is duplicated only that you have to change the signs so we'll put it as low and this one as high if we have done this and if we run the simulation now we can see the same pattern being displayed which the breadboard and the Arduino and the LEDs and the register. If you are new to my channel, please like, share and subscribe. If you are an old viewer of this channel, please communicate this particular link of the video to your friends. Thank you very much for attending this session. We will stop the simulation now.